One afternoon, my dad asked if I wanted to go oyster mushroom hunting. I put on some socks and my paint farm boots. I dashed out the door with a big basket. It had been raining in the night, but it was a beautiful cold day. Dad said, rain followed by cold makes the oyster mushrooms bloom. We had a school project coming up, and when we did, I actually went oyster mushroom hunting that weekend. So I decided to write about that because it was really a very memorable moment I had, you know, just with me and my parents. Sometimes on the weekends we'll just say, you know, let's have an adventure. And an adventure to us is jump in the truck and or walk out in the pasture or go up in the swamp or in the woods or something and, and uh, see if we can find some wild mushrooms. My dad led us to the old red bar next to our driveway. Y'all remember this tree right here, don't We you? inspected a dead pecan tree next to the barn. It had oyster mushrooms all over it. My mom said, oyster mushrooms always grow on dead or dying trees. I picked a ton of mushrooms. My mom cut a big one off and let me hold it so my dad could take a picture of me. We went through the pasture where our goats and sheep grazed. The sheep began to bleat and ran for the woods. Sheep can be such scaredy cats. We don't want to ever eat anything that we don't already know is okay. Because if you put it in your mouth, it can kill you. We walked past a fairy ring of mushrooms, pretty but deadly. Eating some mushrooms, my mom and dad often tell me, can make you very sick. And you might even die from the most poisonous ones. So you must never pick a mushroom unless you have your dad or mom or some other adult who really knows all about mushrooms to, to show you which ones are the good ones. This is the rule in our house. It keeps us all safe. There are two types of mushrooms down here that we recognize very well. And there are many other kinds that we would like to know more about and we just haven't learned about them. But uh, the chanterelles that uh, come in the summer and the oyster mushrooms that bloom in the cool months are the principal ones that we know how to find. Sometimes we get them and sometimes we don't. And when we get lucky, oh my goodness, sometimes we'll find pounds and pounds and pounds of them. We filled our baskets and headed home. My umma asked me how many mushrooms we found, and I told her millions. I had a wonderful day oyster mushroom hunting, but the best part was still to come. Oyster mushrooms cooked in butter for supper. They're so tasty. They're so good, you know. So we've got friends that just can't wait for us to go oyster mushroom hunting, and you know, if we have, if we have any way at all to share them out, we'll share them out with them. It was my first time ever going oyster mushroom hunting, you know, and I was really, really amazed. We had so much fun.